day everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Carla from Cathedral Art School. Today's project is going to be oven baked clay bead bracelets. So if you have a kit at home and you're going to follow along, get out all your materials and let's create. Okay, so what does your kit include? You should have received two packages. Uh, one package will have some raw wooden beads in it. Uh, it will also have a toothpick and it will also have a long stretch of premium stretch bead wires. So this is for stringing all your beads onto for your bracelets. And having a stretch bracelet is going to be much nicer for the little guys because it's easier for them to get it on and off. And this is premium stretch, so it's really, really durable. Um, they really have to yank at it hard to be able to break it. Um, the length that you have here is enough to get several bracelets out of, especially for tiny little wrists. So you should be good to go. Your other package is going to include all of your pieces of Sculpey. So Sculpey is an oven bake clay. And oven bake clay, if you haven't used it before, it is a super fun medium. And you've got a variety of different colors in here. So we're gonna start with our um, making our oven bake clay beads first. So you're going to need your toothpick and you're going to need a few blocks of clay. So we're gonna make marble beads today. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break these into smaller pieces. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and I'm just gonna break them in half or in thirds. Um, I don't want my beads to be too big. You want your beads to be about anywhere between a quarter of an inch and half an inch. Um, that way when you bake them, it's not gonna to take too long for them to actually cure. So I'm just gonna break these up, make them a little bit smaller so they're easier to work with. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna do these two together. So I'm going to marble these is what it's called. So I'm gonna move over and make a little space for myself. So I'm gonna take and roll out a little snake with my Sculpey. Okay, so roll out your first color. Sometimes it's hard to roll a block. There we go. And roll out your second color. Okay, so now I'm going to take these two pieces and I'm gonna twist them together. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that twist, I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to twist it again. So I really want these colors to swirl together really nicely, so that's why I'm twisting it up. And then I'm gonna roll it out again. And you can see those colors are starting to swirl together. I wanted a bit more swirly, so I am going to fold it in half again, give it a little twist, and roll it. Okay, there. I'm really liking how that looks. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to smush it all into a ball. Roll it in between my hands, or you can roll it on the table to get it nice and round. Press down any little bumps with your fingers. Okay. So that is going to be my first bead. So now what I wanna do is I wanna make my hole. So I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna take my toothpick and I'm gonna press right through the center. Make sure it goes all the way through. I'm gonna go both directions. Then I'm gonna take my toothpick and I'm gonna hold it on either end and I'm just gonna roll my bead on the table. And what this does is it just opens up the hole a little bit nicer inside so that it's easier to thread your string through. Okay, so that's going to be my first bead. So now I will set that aside and then I'm gonna choose two or maybe even three more colors. Let's do one with three colors. How about we try, how about we try these three? I think these will be fun. So a little bit of the lavender, whoop.
okay? And a little bit of the magenta. Um, if your Sculpey is a little bit firm or it's a bit crumbly, it just needs to get warmed up in your hands a little bit and then it will stick together really good. So um, if your kit was outside, uh, let your Sculpey warm up a little bit in the house before you start using it. Um, otherwise you might find that it kind of crumbles a little bit. It's just our fabulous Saskatchewan weather. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two and put them end to end like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold it and then I'm gonna twist it. Getting fancy here. Okay, so I'm gonna roll it out. And roll it a little bit skinnier. There we go. Fold it again another twist. I'm really going to twist it up good this time. So you can see the colors all swirled in there. So now I'm just going to roll it up into a ball. Okay, so you can see all the colors swirled around in there. And I'm gonna take my toothpick again, press down into the center, make sure you go all the way through, give it a little roll. And there's your bead. So I am going to continue. I still have quite a bit of Sculpey left, as you can see. So I'm gonna continue making beads until I have all my Sculpey used up. Um, and then in my kit, I also have a whole bunch of raw wooden beads as well. These are really nice because you can incorporate these into your bracelet just as they are if you wanna have a nice contrast with the wood and the color, but they're also really fun to decorate. Because they're raw wood, you can use markers on them, you can use watercolor paint, you can use acrylic paint, so you can really have some fun with these guys as well and then incorporate those into your bracelets. Now with the Sculpey, when you bake it, every quarter of an inch in thickness, you wanna bake it for 20 minutes at 275 degrees. So if you have a little bit of a thicker bead like this guy, I would bake that for probably about 30 minutes at 275. You can bake in a regular oven or a toaster oven, works really great too if you have one on hand.